Hey guys, Jake with Optimus Futures here, back with another Investor RT video. And in today's quick video, we'll be showing you how to add a technical indicator to any chart that you have opened. So that being said, to show you the process of how to add a technical indicator to a chart, we'll need to first open up a chart. So you can head to the top left hand corner of your platform window and left click on the open chart button. Now from here, this will be your first set of choices. When adding a technical indicator, the type of chart can actually matter here. So for example, if I just open up a regular chart type and I wanted to add a AD line, for example, as an indicator to my chart, the AD line will actually overlay the main price action of the chart that you have opened up. Compared to, let's say, a multi-pane chart, where the indicator will be applied to its own separate pane, either below or above the main price action of your chart. So it really depends of what type of indicator you're adding here, as certain indicators do act in certain and specific ways. And it really just matters and depends on your personal preference. But for our example, we're going to keep things organized and everything separate. So we'll be selecting a multi-pane chart with a candle chart style. Now from here, you can click on new. And as you can see, this will bring up the chart wizard. This is where you can enter in all the main settings for your chart. If you've been trading in charts before, this should be defaulted to the last settings that you've applied on a chart. And before we continue, I just wanted to mention here, as you can see, there's actually a field for technical indicators. Here are some specific technical indicators. These are actually different from the ones that I'm about to show you. But if you do see any technical indicators here, you can feel free to do so and add them right from the beginning rather than doing so after opening up your chart. So if you need to, feel free to come to this chart wizard screen and then take a moment to view these indicators before we continue or feel free to pause the video and take a look for yourselves. So we'll be keeping that blank, but all my other settings are appropriate. So now I will click apply and that will bring open up a chart for me. Now from here to add a technical indicator, all you need to do is right click anywhere within your main chart and then scroll down to the add field, hover over to the right and you'll see a field called technical indicator. You can click on that or you can also use the enter key on your keyboard as a shortcut. Now, as you can see, there are a ton of pre-built indicators that are available for use right from the beginning on InvestorRT. They really add a lot and it gives traders a bunch of different options here. Now, since there are so many options, they actually have a filter setting right here in the right side of the screen. As you can see, you have all the different alphabet laid across for you. And just by hovering over one of the specific letters in the box located underneath the letters, it'll actually show you what indicators are available for that letter. So for example, if I wanted to do the AD line, I just hover over the A's. And as you can see, there's an ADX indicator. Maybe I wanted to open up a Renko indicator while I'll hover over the R's. Look in the box. What do you know? There's a Renko indicator. Now, if I click on the, the R key, this will filter my indicators here on the left hand side now. So they are filtered by alphabetical order, starting with R's. And as you can see, I have located my Renko indicator. Once I left click on the left hand side, the right hand side of my window now becomes the settings for this indicator. Feel free to edit these to your liking, but for now, we'll just keep this as default. Now we can click add and close. And as you can see, a Renko indicator has been added to my chart. Now let's say for example, I wanted to add this to the top of my chart rather than the bottom. Simply just click and hold on this panel right here, this gray panel that says the name of your indicator and drag it towards the top. That will automatically display it towards the top of your chart and if you wish, you can just drag it back down to the bottom and you can mess around with this to your liking. Speaking of liking, if perhaps you didn't like this indicator for whatever reason or needed to customize it further, 
simply just head to the bottom left hand corner here and on this indicator label simply just left click the x box clicking on the x will remove the indicator and you can feel free to start back from the pro beginning process and add that same indicator or add a new one all right so now that i've showed you how to remove the indicator let's go through the process one more time just to clarify things to add a technical indicator you'll right click anywhere within your chart scroll down to add and we'll go down a technical indicator now from here you can either locate your indicator in the field on the left or free feel free to filter by the alphabet on the right this time i'll be adding an ad line i'll click on the a's and what do you know the adx indicator is right here now one thing i didn't mention in the last run through down in the bottom left here, you can actually associate what instrument you would like to add your indicator for. As of right now, ours is set to the E-mini S&P 500 of September 2018. If you have a different chart open, feel free to click on this drop down box and it will associate which chart it is placed on. And as I mentioned in the earlier part of the video, since we do have a multi-pane chart open, Adding the indicator will place it in its own separate little window or pane. You can actually customize which pane or how you would like to place your indicator on the chart by left clicking the add indicator to pane drop down box down here in the bottom corner. And as you can see, you can add it as a button pane. That way you have the shortcut buttons or you can add it so it overlays the main price action of the chart as I spoke of before. But for now, we'll just be keeping this as default since it is a multi-pane chart. So I have my AD line selected. And if I want to add it, I can either click on the add button or I can click on add and close. So this indicated window will automatically close. And as you can see, I now have the AD line on my chart in its own separate pane located on the bottom. One final note. Another way to delete an indicator is by hovering over to the center of the indicator and there's a little black tab in the center. If you click on this, you can either get some help about your indicator or you can hover to the right. You can either hide it, you can select it, you can edit your indicator from here, or you can delete it. So by clicking on delete, that is another way to remove an indicator. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.